Hi, I'm talking to Melissa Beggs, the principal of our school at St Monica's at Richmond. And Melissa, it's good to chat with you. Good morning, Greg. It's good to chat with you as well. Um, if you just look back, what do you think you've learned about uh, leadership and you know, a role of a principal? Well, last year was my first year as principal, so it was an interesting year. It was certainly, and when I look back and I think in many ways, actually, it was a good year to start. And I know that might sound a bit strange. <laughs> that does sound strange. It does. But I think sort of it gave me a real chance to get to know people in a way that might not have been possible because what was really important last year was to get to know the community very quickly, to get to know the staff. And I saw them in situations that perhaps I might not have if I'd come in in a, whatever a normal year is. And, you know, there would have been that you know, lead in time, this is how we do it here, this is what we do, but everything was shaken up. So You're it was an opportunity. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit. So it was an opportunity for me to get to know people in another way and for them to get to know me, I think, as well as a leader and see me. So it wasn't so much there wasn't that comparison with what had gone before or their expectations or what they'd heard because we were all in this together. So I think in that way, when I look back at last year, that was the silver lining. Of course, there were many things that we had to deal with and other things. And I think for me, it was the communication and listening. And I know many times, Greg, you said the learning is in the doing, and it really was last year. The learning was in the doing. And we all, I think, as a staff and as a community, realised that there were lots of things actually that we could do. And when we pulled together and worked together, we actually made things happen that if I'd said at the beginning of the year, we're going to introduce technology, we're all going to be on Google Classroom, we're going to be communicating via Zoom, they would have just backed off and you might have had lots of letters about who is this person you've appointed out at St Monica's and what's she doing? But it was just that, and there was tremendous trust from the community in that. So I think we were just very transparent. We communicated what we knew. We put in place the best that we could do and as a staff and what we needed to do. And the parents were very, and the community, the staff, and the students as well, they accepted that we would communicate everything when we knew it was happening. If there was a change, we would let them know this was what we knew today and this was where we were going. And, and I think sort of that helped build up the trust over the year as well because they knew that we were going to be honest. This is how it was. We were all adjusting and ways we could do that. So even, you know, getting to know and the offer of um, technology out to parents and they were fairly slow to take that up at first because they thought, oh, no, we have, you know, we've got a computer at home and that will be fine. But then it was that sort of, no, now that we're, I'm working from home, my children are working from home, we need extra. So I think that communication between the schools, yes, and so I think that's what I take with me is that communication and the learning is in the doing and I think the staff take that as well and respect for that. And I think the other thing we did in that time as well, we took time for ourselves and we continue things. So we had begun as part of our formation and looking at the dispositions and the new RE syllabus. We continued with that, but we looked at it for a formation for ourselves as a staff. So it gave us time in that first. So we still had our staff development day before Easter and we were, we were very lucky to have Anthony Marr come and Zoom with us as well. So it just gave us all a brief moment to sort of stop, take notice, and look after ourselves as well, where we are and where we are with our formation. And that just gave us a bit of normality, breathing space, and then the work was still in the doing. And it was busy and difficult, but... It's probably a good lead right. into the second question, but before I just want to make an observation, the real authenticity in your voice and in your approach is you keep using the word we. You haven't yeah. said I at this start of talking about your leadership, but you, <laughs> you obviously have a... Uh, an approach to different uh, to leadership um, that's pretty pretty inclusive. So well done. So looking back now, um, you're in your second year. You're a seasoned principal. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn about leading from um, last year? I think I learned that I need to be in there with the doing, and that's where it is. So I can't be separate from that. I can't be someone who just gives that. I need to be in there and doing, and that's my always my endeavour. I don't get to do that every day. And some days, you know, things get taken up and I'm not where I would prefer to be with this in the classroom and in the doing, but that's where I like to be out with the parents, out with the children, out with the staff in the classroom. So I think that's what I've learned. And perhaps this year, you know, to keep that and to sort of 
ensure that's in my calendar, ensure that that is held to account so I can be in there with the doing because that's where that I see the leadership is in is in working with them, not something that I'm asking people to do that I'm not prepared to do as well. And so I can be connected with the staff and the students and the parents. So we started just even a simple thing, meeting people at the gate. And that was, you know, as they came in after they came back in. And so many parents, even a parent yesterday who was perhaps, you know, not happy with everything that was happening for his child in the school, but they made that comment that it's great to be able to, con you know, contact you and see you as a person out front and centre and I get to know you. So that was important as well. So when you do have to have those hard conversations, you do it with that, you know, background of that connectedness with people and they know you as a, as a person who's there, not someone who sits in an office or, you know, I just see you like in the old days when you were naughty and come into the principal's office. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be a place that, you know, is happy for people to come. Oh, look, well, if that's your learning, congratulations. I mean, and just more of it. Uh, the, the, the presence and being shoulder to shoulder is how we're going to really improve uh, our understanding of learning and teaching, I think. So thank you very much.